Flexography V uses a relief plate where the image stands out from the printing plate surface. But judging by its name, it uses a flexible plastic or rubber printing plate instead. It is mostly used for packaging such as PVC and foil laminates other than paper. It can also be used to print any material like printing local and national newspapers and less expensive magazines because of its fast printing speeds and cheap printing plates. However, the disadvantage is that it is difficult to reproduce fine detail and color. The process of flexography, the printing plate is kept damp, so it will repel the ink when applied at non-image areas. The printing cylinder is rotated as the ink is transferred onto a rubber blanket cylinder and then passed onto a material pulled through the machine. The bottom is the impression cylinder and on top is the blanket cylinder which feeds the material through. The printing plate is on top. Lithography is most used in commercial printing because it's cheap, flexible, and can print high quality images on many different papers. The process of lithography is like the meaning of its name, stone writing, except that in modern offset lithography has two cylinders. The plate wrapped around the offset cylinder, the blanket, and impression cylinders. The aluminium printing plate is dampened with a water solution that the image rejects and the surrounding area except. When ink is applied, the image area absorbs the ink. The image is then transferred from the plate cylinder to the blanket cylinder, which prints the image onto paper, which passes between the blanket and impression cylinders. However, the disadvantage is that it is difficult to reproduce fine detail and color may not be consistent. Gravure can produce fine details, so it is used to produce high-quality photographic images. Its main disadvantage is that it costs very much due to making the original printing plate. It is the opposite of letterpress because the printing image is lower than the non-printing surface. The image is engraved onto copper printing plate, creating cells filled with thin, spirit-based ink. The paper is pressed onto it to produce a printed image. Most modern gravure is done with web-fed machines, which use large reels of paper. The cells are filled with ink, and the blade moves across the cylinder to remove any excess. The paper is fed through a rubber-covered cylinder, which is pressed onto the cells to remove drops of ink to form a printed image. The spirit-based ink dries by evaporation immediately after. Screen printing is a very handy printing class because it can be applied to any type of material. The basic principle of screen printing is that a stencil recorded on a screen, originally made from silk but now mostly synthetic fiber, is tightly stretched over a frame. Thick ink is spread across it with a rubber squeezy, forcing the ink to go through the screen and printing the stencil's area onto paper. The area around it stops the ink from passing through. In a manual carousel screen printer, the material is held flat on the printing bed by vacuum sections through the bed. Several screens are held on the carousel that is rotated. The first screen is held over the paper, and the first colored ink is spread using rubber screws through the screen and the stencil. Then the screen is rotated to the next screen, which contains a different stencil for a different part of the image for another color. Then the whole process is repeated. The disadvantage to this is that it is difficult to get fine detail and the print takes a long time to dry. Photocopying is the process of photographically reproducing a document of text or illustration. The most common photocopying method used today is called sterography, from the Greek words for dry and light. During the process of photocopying, a round drum usually made out of aluminium inside the copier is coated with a layer of selenium that has a positive electrical charge. When the document is going to be copied on the glass top surface of the copier, a light reflects the image from the white surface onto the rotation drum. The drum loses the positive charge on the illuminated part of the surface. The toner is attracted onto the remaining positively charged parts of the surface as the drum is sprayed with ink and transfers the picture onto paper. The advantage to photocopying is that you can reproduce the same thing. But the disadvantage is that sometimes the image may not be clear and the colors may not be consistent.